wrong what is up hopefully you guys are having an amazing day today we're going to be talking about what is happening with xrp in the xrp community now on coin market cap xrp is at 23 cents we are in the red today it looks like the whole market seems to be slightly in the red as well again volatility before the elections but now guys before we jump into this like i'm not financial advisor nor is financial advisor just assume some value only xp cross sweet out the corresponding banking relationship have gone down by 50 percent in the last 15 years correspondent banking it was built <laughs> decades ago it hasn't really evolved it's you know based upon you know swift messaging between correspondent banks uh, the, the cost of supporting that infrastructure, frankly, has gone up. One of the things that changed after the financial crisis of 2009, 2010, it used to be when, it, if the Bank of Dan and the Bank of Brad wanted to do tra cross-border transactions, we'd have what's called Nostro Vostro accounts. It used to be that when I put cash at the Bank of Dan, that counted positively towards my capital ratio. After that financial crisis, we decided that trusting other deposits at other banks may not be as trustworthy as we thought, and so now it doesn't count. And so banks have contracted. The, the, the correspondent banking relationships have gone by, down by 50% in the last 15 years, yet global cross-border transactions continue to grow. <clears throat> so it, our view is, look, these are technologies from decades ago. We can upgrade them with today's technology, with internet-based technologies, and make these uh, you know, real-time transactions. These are technologies from decades ago, and we could upgrade them to modern technologies. Ripple can upgrade this old technology with internet-based technology and make these real-time transactions. Next, it comes from Bashi Crypto in Offset XRP. One of the reasons why I think XRP is so interesting, and it reminds me of the early days of the internet, and I think it's being grossly underestimated by so many of you out there that consider yourself maximalists within the community or just don't understand the tech, is that they have a very, very micro, super-defined niche, which I think is very, very rare among the cryptocurrencies that I typically review at my course, and I review a lot. And full disclosure, again, not financial advice. I am a very large stakeholder in XRP, so I do have a self-incentive uh, to see XRP, the token, successful. I have an incentive to see Ripple successful. So I want you guys to obviously know that. And I always disclose what I own and what I'm buying and selling, and I go into more detail on how to do that and how to trade and uh, work with exchanges, all these kinds of things at BitcoinRich.com. So why do I think a lot of people are grossly underestimating the potential of the technology of XRP, the token, and then the company itself with many business relationships and banking relationships already established, and then its consensus ledger? Well, the primary reason is it has a very defined micro niche. And this is typically the product of very, very successful companies that enter a marketplace with a defined niche. In fact, this is one of the first things I teach at my social media marketing courses, find a micro niche and stick to that, that later become whales. So let me give you an example of this and we'll go over what the micro niche of Ripple the company is in a moment. Probably the best example of this is Amazon. Jeff Bezos truly was a genius in the early days of Amazon because he didn't try to tackle the entire market. His original idea, maybe it was his long-term strategy to become a monopoly, but his original entrance into the market was to do one thing extremely well with a micro niche that solved a problem in a very specific area that did it better than all competitors in the world and did it differently for the first time that nobody had ever seen before. And so what was Amazon's micro niche? Amazon's micro niche was of course selling books online it was a virtual online bookstore and amazon went from selling books but now they are selling everything one of the biggest companies in the whole world a micro niche mr fresh i'm asking you know Ripple Labs, as an example I brought up earlier, in 2015 Ripple was subject to an enforcement action um, from FinCEN and the Department of Justice for anti-money laundering violations that were conducted back in 2013. One of the stipulations under that settlement agreement was that Ripple Labs, a company, conduct transaction monitoring and reporting of transactions that are conducted on XRP Ledger, a blockchain. 
Now, Ripple Labs does not own or operate XRP Ledger, um, and Ripple Labs does not have anything to do with any of the other entities that connect to that blockchain, with the exception of Ripple subsidiary entities. Ripple does have a financial institution subsidiary, a company that sells cryptocurrency to wholesale buyers. But apart from that, it does not know any of the other entities on this blockchain, nor does it have anything whatsoever to do with it. So, um, Ripple Labs. Ripple has been monitoring and running surveillance on the XRP ledger since 2015 as part of the agreement with FinCEN, Chief Compliance Officer at PolySign speaking during presentation at IMF meeting 2018. Now guys, we're sort of fun part of XRP in the XRP community. Now this is quite interesting. David Schwartz is sweet out. Yeah, you might want to update your packaging for 2020. A little party never killed nobody. Cope glasses set of six. If we go down here from Enigma, we can see the connections being made. As well as, it's so similar to Cug's last message also. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about this right here? Next it comes from XRP Brainstorm. Five days of progress ends on the 4th. We can see David Schwartz five days of progress with those pictures right there. If we go up here again, remember, remember the 4th of November. I mean, there is a possibility, guys. There is a possibility. What are the chances? Again, from XP Brainstorm, dark to light. Remember, remember the 5th of November. So many dates, many dates out there. But again, this week will be very hectic by the looks of it. A lot of dates are being thrown out. We can see Donald Trump has figured out this light at the end of the tunnel. And then if you if you get all those numbers, 6 plus 5 equals 11. That leaves 5, 11, 5. So again, this week seems to be a lot going on. So be prepared. Ripple Crippler has figured out there's so much I want to say, but I don't want to influence anyone. What makes a phoenix? Destroying the old system. Again guys, rise from ashes. Market crash first. Valjester is sweet out. Higher the value, higher the efficiency. If you have $1 million transaction, it's better if... It's better if XRP was valued at a million dollar. So, you will only need one coin. This is much... This is much more efficient than say you have 1 million XRPs valued at $1 a piece. Understand? Again, guys, David Shores, it can't be dirt cheap. What will be the end goal of XRP's price? Superman Punch a sweet out XRP. What do you think right here? You guys can pause and read that. Li Jong a sweet out. Good news, XRP. We can see right here, with the global that, their plans will speed up. Is the financial and stock market crash imminent? Emergency action is required. Again guys, at that, right here, we can see this image from, we can see this image from Ben Recker. 2021, go live in November 21st, but that, which we've seen before, will speed up this whole progress. Global migration of market infrastructures to ISO 222. We can see a lot says in a few years, but again, most likely this year because of what is happening all around the world. Goldman Sachs has sweet out 66 days at sea coming to an end for all to see the new world. We got November 11th. A lot of dates, guys. A lot of dates to watch out for and be patient. Extension of sweet out Visa, Ripple. Very interesting situations abound. Nothing to see here. All just coincidences, I'm sure. to bring real-time payments for U.S. banks. Galcatron the sweet out. Did anyone else notice there seems to be an increase in whale manipulation on the price and lots of anti-XRP futs circulating all conspicuously timed about a month before the spark airdrop? 
don't be shaken out. Now, there seems to be a lot of FUD going around in Twitter about XRP, but if we go to the next read from Kriag about XRP, new FUD. When we pay Bitcoin fees in Satoshis, does it make Bitcoin a gas token? No. When we pay Ethereum fees in Ether, does it make Ethereum a gas token? No. People who don't work have plenty of time to create fairy tales. The final tip for today's video comes from Babacus Riddlers. Any XRP expert, Marvin said it before anyone else. People can see here, global liquidity trap requires a big fiscal response. But now demands needs a lift. Again, a lot of stuff seems to be coming, guys. Especially this week will be huge. Will actually take place. Who really knows? But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are ready. Feel free to be a member of the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. Any anyway, guys, see ya.